was just a falling down I had all my hopes pinned down on you I always had the end in sight Always felt the hunger from the night I saw all my dreams burn up with you As you can see, we do have a lot of graphic in this area, but I think I was expecting that because I put a lot of warehouse and uh, new factories, new unique factories across the map. And I, well, this is what I would expect to happen, mainly because they, those warehouses, they are set to fill and we are gonna need all the uh, products that we we have here so i think as we uh go around a little bit and get to a point where everything is more balanced then this will start to slow down and go back to normal but i'll leave it running anyway for a uh for some time to see how this goes and if we need to change we will change that no worries but as you can see I've left it spawning uh, disabled just so we can see where the traffic is, what's being affected and if, it, and if that's gonna change or not. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will get back to normal soon. So a few changes here. I think you saw uh, at the beginning that I put all those lines. So this is a really nice mod and I do recommend you using it because it makes a lot of difference when you look at it and you see those lines and just a little bit of a learning curve here uh, and by curve I don't mean this curve <laughs> so you usually have the lines uh, if I are on a left hand drive as we are here and I use this because I'm in Australia and we use left hand drive here as well uh, all the lines will be on your right side so, for example, if we are turning right, instead of making a mistake in turning right in here or getting into the train line, you know what you have to follow on your right side and you get there. So, again, side here so you can follow and get the right lanes in there. And same thing on the other side. So that's why I don't have lines everywhere. I won't put a line, although I'm saying right side i won't put a line here because this is the corner so it's very clear where you can go and where you can't so just a few things that uh we see on the roads that are more realistic although i never said that i'm going for a very realistic look in this city uh it's still nice to have some things that resemble reality and what we are doing there yeah this is really really busy but this area was all cluttered and it's not anymore so it's all around the um, the warehouse and the silos and all that stuff the barns and all that I'm even thinking if I should actually move these to somewhere else because this do cause a lot of traffic in this area I might change that in the future but let's see 
how that goes. For change that I did, uh, as you've seen, I've changed the access to the highway here. So before we would go into roundabout and we had an exit here that would join here and then join back here to go there. Uh, the only thing that I just realized hmm, is that now we can't actually go out there unless we go all the way here. I mean, that's not really ideal, but aren't we using that a lot? Let's see. It seems like we are. We are indeed. So, well, not exactly what I wanted there, and that might be an issue for us. But it, to be honest, I think traffic here is alright, and if we have to change that later on, we can change that later on. That's alright. Or even doing some loop around here or something like that so we don't join the main roads in there. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, at the moment, we don't need. So let's not worry about that. But anyway, we have this one and we have this road here that actually it's a one way road that goes all the way there, get in here and get back there. I just thought this would be better because then we would be able to get across um, all this area in a more organized way and that all when they the trucks exit from this area they will probably want to go to the uh, cargo station one of those so i thought it'd be better to have these uh, one-way roads in here so hopefully that all works and I I wonder if I shouldn't change this as well because this is not working very well I might do like a square about in here I think I'll do that let's quickly change that and here we go now we have a roundabout here or I should say a square about and this is working much much better so this is a one-way roundabout in here this is a one-way road because it's just in the middle there I just want them leaving not getting into the square about and then I change all these to be two-way roads and this one I remove that connection so we wouldn't uh, join the road here because this is too close to that junction and that would cause a lot of traffic as well and i've moved some silos around as well so as you can see we have two in here instead of having all them concentrated in this area which helped a lot as well and i've added another flower mill just because we are gonna use that um so yeah that's all about this area in here and in here i've done those unique factories so the food factory the lemonade factory and the clothing factory and some warehouse and barns to hold all the the products that we need for those factories but there's one thing that we are missing and this is not one but a, a couple so plastic we don't have plastic and we don't have glass but to do that we need to, to have uh, some other um, factories or actually industries specialized in doing that here in the city and we don't have that but this would be something i'll do on a, uh, on a following episode so we'll get that sorted and make sure that this all works and with that we'll probably make a lot more jobs for the industry as well uh, in this area, I did some very basic detailing, as you can see some trees here, some bushes in here as well. I did this containing wall here, some parking lot because this area should be very busy for employees, I would say, because there is a lot of uh, workplace in here and I think that would be necessary. I also did this loop to this area, so 
we wouldn't get in the way here at all and I make this connection uh, into here and move the connection to the highway just in there so it's not in the way I did some more detailing here I put down those purple trees so we have jacaranda and this uh, purple flower tree just very generic just to go with this little area that we had here I don't know yet what to put in there so if you have an idea please let me know and we will do that and just moving north of the city now into the forestry area here we are so we have a few new buildings here uh, we do have what did I do here what is so the furniture factory so now we can produce furniture uh, as we have plant timber and paper and I put two warehouses next to it one for plant timber and another one for paper so we wouldn't have uh, to go somewhere else to get those uh, materials and this is pretty good and as you can see I had some detailing here on the lines as well especially when we have big junctions like this I think that helps on the smaller ones I didn't do that because I felt unnecessary just in here because this area could be busier so I think it's nice touch to have it there so yeah that's the new area I don't know if I show you guys yet but oh, there are a lot of trains in here uh, but we do have some detailing in the highways as well as you can see we have some lines in here on the roundabouts and on the entry and exits from the highway and I did it throughout this whole area as you can see here so I think like this mod is one of my favorites at the moment and we can uh, make a lot of things with this I didn't do it here though I should do that but yeah I think I didn't do this junction but I did the other one here as you can see we do have that uh, here I've increased one road in here so we could join from this side so we have one here one here and two going straight so yeah this is looking pretty good I really like the way it's looking now this area the traffic in this area is pretty good as well right now we are at 81 percent I think I saw this going up to 85 so no big issues there I think everything is working fine oh I did this um, walkway in here as well because there's a lot of people coming from the bus stop and getting to the turn stop in there so I thought it would be nice to make it a shorter way for them to go through and yeah this is uh, working very very well and I think yeah I think that's all that I did um, there was a lot of detailing especially using these lines at the beginning and I think that uh, was a great addition as well especially in this area I like to see all the parked cars in here the area looks so busy so so busy but as you can see we have a lot of junctions with all those marks and I did some roundabouts as well I didn't do everything but this looks so good on the roundabout as well and yeah I'm pretty happy with that I might have shown you that before uh, I don't know I've just recorded this last bit again because it wasn't good before so I thought uh, would be best if I gave you guys some more uh, context and some more things that I did so uh, if you enjoyed this don't forget to leave a like also if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe and leave me comments let me know what you think uh, leave me your suggestions your ideas and we'll certainly have a look at that and try to make that into the city so I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.